I'm Daniil and welcome to the Amona Project. We here at the Amona Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to inspiration, education, uh, guidance, advice, and I want to spend a moment uh, uh, on the words of the Shema that we say every day, twice a day. You shall love your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your resources, with everything you have. Chazal, our sages say, that for someone who places uh, his possessions ahead of his health, ahead of his body, you say, with all your resources. For someone who places his body, his health, in front of his possessions, you say, with all your soul. Whatever is important to you, that you should be prepared to give up on behalf of um, the love of God. It was the Chofetz Chaim, and in analyzing this, says, what is it that we possess that we value the most? What do, what do we prize the most? What do we put above everything else? He says, the Torah. So when uh, we say in the Shema, you know, with everything we have, you should be prepared even to sacrifice the Torah. Now, to us, that's the sort of thing that kind of hits the ear wrong. What, what do you mean? What's the Chavetz Chaim talking about? What is, he, what, what is he saying? You have to give up the Torah for the love of God. A student of the, of the Chavetz Chaim, the Pono Vizharav, goes into it. And he says, for someone who is a Talmud Chacham, a, 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 Torah, a Torah scholar, or a, a Posik, a, a, a Halakhic authority, or um, a Rosh Hashiva, a head of a, a rabbinical school or a learning academy or something like that, to him, Torah, learning uh, the Torah, studying the Word of God, that's the most important thing. But when you're in that position, you have to give up your own study of Torah, your own you know, ranking higher, growing more in your knowledge of, uh, of Torah in order to teach others, in order to benefit the, your students, community. So time that you would otherwise, valuable time, that you would otherwise spend studying for your own benefit, you have to give that up for the benefit of others so that they may learn. That's what the Chavetz Chaim uh, meant when he said you have to give up the best thing you have, you have to give up uh, uh, Torah. Pono Vezherov uh, eventually in Bnei Barak um, opened the uh, Pono Vezher Yeshiva, uh, a great, great center of uh, Torah, uh, Torah knowledge. So he, um, he walked the walk, he lived his words. And um, I'm not saying you should stop studying Torah. God forbid. You must always study. But you need to devote some time that you would otherwise spend studying when it comes to teaching somebody else, no matter how much. Even teaching them an alphabet. It's teaching somebody the olive best, the first letter, what it sounds like. What a, teach someone else at your level. If you're not the biggest scholar in the world, if all you can say is, you know, ABC, teach ABC. Spend some of your time, devote some of the time that you would spend on your own to helping someone. Teach people, teach your children, teach your friends, teach your relatives, anyone who comes to you. If you can answer the question, answer it to the best of your ability. If you don't know, Study it together or go to find the answer. Um, this way you help not only yourself, but you help, uh, you help the Jewish people. Um, and the same applies to B'nai Noach. When you're learning, there's a lot to learn. But don't spend so much time on yourself that you uh, neglect helping others. It's very important work. Spreading the word of God very, very important. As Chazal say, you know, uh, you're prepared to give up everything for it. And as the Chofetz Chaim says, even that 
portion, even that share of Torah learning that you were going to give to yourself, be prepared to sacrifice that for the benefit of others learning Torah. We're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Amuna Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.